Here's another project based on the Tesla magnifying transmitter. This one here uses the flat coil and I have that rectifying but what's special about here is we're using a scalar wave generator so we're using the scalar wave and this is scalar resonance and the scalar coil then resonates and converts this back to an electromagnetic field that we can then rectify back to pulse DC and I just converted this old uh, game pad here for a battery holder which has three just these batteries here AAAs which are charging and of course it works with non rechargeables as well so here's just the battery pack which has four bars which has been solid it's hardly taking any input current because this is not much of current and underneath here we have the scalar generator and here's the coil which picks it up and converts it back to electromagnetic and here's a regular induction light which reacts to the scalar coil see when you get near the coil but no coil no no light so you need to have this coil in between to be able to have this field here or else if the coil gets removed or you get away from it no field so I, I'll try and show you that if I can. Hold on. Because if I remove the coil from the way, no, no light. But we put the coil back underneath the scalar generator here. Carefully, near the middle. Now, we have the reaction of the coil. Now if I want to show you this is the power of the generator here, I simply shut off the power source here and you will notice, see power source is off, no more. So it takes an input of course, nothing comes for free, but you get a lot more out through the magnifying properties of the scalar waves and converting that to resonance. like. Tesla was doing and we're just rectifying that to pulse DC and here's my meter and I will show you if I can with one hand here where we're at so now we're at 3.78 and we're looking for about 4.5 it's not bad because we started at about 3.4 so we are getting a charge doing it this way and it's a cold charge it doesn't ruin the batteries they don't blow up as you can see very interesting way of doing it and it doesn't take much power out of the input source using Tesla's magnifying properties with scalar waves and resonance Of course, Tesla was doing this on a much greater scale in his circuits, but this just shows you the concept here.